Good morning. Welcome now to the round review of today's competition at Crossland Heath, but this is before the round. So this round review, I'm doing it a little bit different to yesterday's round review. So I'm taking the camera with me and I'm just trying to see which one flows a little bit better. Uh, so the common Crossland Heath today from Manchester, it's about an hour away, um, but heading over that way is always a bit of a nightmare traffic. So I'm setting off pretty early, just after seven o'clock now. So I'm gonna get over there, do some putting practice, which I need to do fingers crossed because the weather again has turned rubbish um it's gone from beautiful sunshine yesterday to a lot of rain today so we'll have to see what it's like um if not i'm gonna have to find a place in the uh locker rooms to practice however i've got an hour's drive and i've got to get some petrol and some food let's go just got up to Crossland Heath and it's very heathy. I do love this type of course to be honest. Um, from what I can grasp about this course, it's hilly, a fair few blind shots and I've never played here before. So we'll, we'll see how we get on. I mean, the most important thing for me is I can get on the green and I can try and hold some putts. Uh, that was the only thing that was missing yesterday. So it looks kind of heathery, it looks tight. Looks like it's gonna be fun. Also playing with Phil Archer today, who used to be on tour. So it's going to be good to try and pick up a few little tips from him. And I think he's a, meant to be a very good putter as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, first thing we've got to do is grab a coffee <laughs> and then find the putting room. And we will reconvene after the round. Right, round over with. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to wander up the first hole here. Um, and just show you where, <laughs> show you where I finished after my uh, second shot into this hole. It's a par five. So. <laughs> As I walk up, I'll explain through. I shot a 75 today, and that is four over. Now, as you can tell, it's a bit windy. Hopefully, that mic's been sheltered by the uh, the viewer. But honestly, I've got a word of advice for anyone. If you are coming to play here in a competition or just a social knock, I like just you just want to laugh with your mates. You know, nothing serious. Have a practice round. Oh my god. It's not the most confusing course I think I've ever played on, ever. So let's talk you through this first hole. Tees all the way down there where the white car is. That's Danny who I played with today. Uh, coming all the way up here. Kind of hit my tee shots about here. I was left with 220. Woo, it's proper wind now. Turning into wind again. I was left with like 220 in, so four hybrid. It was a little bit stiller uh, when we teed off. I'll show you the view behind the screen as well. So yeah, that kind of probably tells you everything. Um, this is the first green. And I finished literally right up against that face. And I don't mean a little bit, I'll try and get the picture that Andy took. But look at this, <laughs> look at this. So this is like an old little quarry that used to be here. Oh my word, honestly. And there were so many holes like this that were blind tee shots and they really had to know where you were going. And I really didn't. You know, this is the first time I've been here. I've not a chance to get up and have a practice round. And it's it's really killed me today because I was two over front nine, two over back. But I was just never really put myself in a position where I could birdie it. And especially on the par fives. I pulled some horrific bad luck like that. And there's another one where I hit a really good drive and somehow ended up in the middle of the bush, which was to the left of the fairway. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna get the stats done, and I'll talk through what went well, what went wrong, and how Phil and Danny played, because I played with Phil Archer today. It was good, it was really good. There was some important lessons to be learned. Right, back home, and I've uh, calmed down a little bit. I have to say, I left that course pretty frustrated, pretty annoyed. Um, just to work it backwards, I obviously saw what happened on the first hole, but on the 18th hole, uh, I hit a fantastic drive. Me and Dan, uh, who I was playing with, both hit a great drive, straight up the marker post. It's 4.20, uh, so I've hit about 3.20. Uh, I had 100 left in, but I followed the marker post and it almost put me in the car park. The marker post was horribly aligned on the last hole. It was a it was a bit of a joke on it. That it really actually annoyed me, it frustrated me, it was that bad as far as that marker post positioning was concerned. Um, so that really frustrated me. And it was that common theme throughout the round that because I hadn't played there before, 
there was no real way I think today that I probably could have got anywhere near the win because every single hole had something that I really needed to know about. The only holes that were straight out in front of you were the par threes. And I think I was level par for the par threes. It was frustrating. It was frustrating really knowing in my heart of hearts that without having a practice round there, that I, I, I just couldn't have performed today. There was no chance. And Phil Archer, who I played with as well, he's actually uh, joint first place. He was one under, uh, which probably shows that how tough the course was actually playing today with the wind and all the rest of it. Um, and he just played super, super steady. You know, he found the right places to be. He had played there before previously. Um, which again obviously helps and the fact he's a very good player obviously helps as well but it was interesting to watch him just plod his way around the course today not doing anything crazy not doing anything you know out of the ordinary as far as the shots were concerned but he was just so consistent and he gave himself so many opportunities to have birdies and that is something that I didn't do even when I was in a decent position I wasn't putting my approaches quite close enough on pretty tricky slightly bobbly greens to actually give myself those birdie puts. A much more of a concerted effort next time to get up and play, but I've got to be honest, I, I'm not making excuses. I just did, I've not had a chance. Um, the only chance that I actually had to go up there and do the practice round, it was closed because of snow. <laughs> With it being up on top of the hill, and there's still some snow around on the course today. So, yeah. So one of the reasons this video <laughs> won't be out as early as I wanted it to be, as you can tell, um, I've had to start filming again for some reason. The last camera clip corrupted. I hate technology at times, but let me just take you through the stats um, as far as strokes gain is concerned here. So uh, minus 1.47 on driving, minus 4.22 on approach play, uh, plus 1.31 on short game approach shot. So that is still part of my game, which is uh, still there, still as good as it has been really. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And then Stroh's gain 2.75, um, obviously not good on my putting at the moment, but again, that's more practice. My approach play there, minus 4.22, that actually comes as a bit of a surprise. I didn't think that my approach play was that poor today. But that's why using the MyRound Pro Stroh's gain system is actually useful. So you can come away from around thinking you've done one thing, but then when you go in and have a look, then it shows something different. So you can see my 100 to 150 yard approaches here really not good enough you know my average proximity 28 feet compared to 21 feet um you can see 63 percent of greens here and long and right uh going to 150 to 200 yards again proximity is a long way from what needs to be a good 10 yards 250 yeah it's just yeah so it's just showing them my proximity to the hole there my approach play just wasn't good enough again I could say that there was that bit of wind uh, and there was well, a lot of wind and obviously again an unfamiliar course but looking at the stats and the strokes gained approach that shows that really that is something which does need to improve. So I need to figure that out. But guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, Phil and Dan, thanks for being such a good company today. And Andy again, who came up to caddy for me. Uh, bless him. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this round review. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think below as always. And we'll see you down here next time. I kind of just, yeah. Okay, I need to edit. Go.